Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install MongoDB on your Mac operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can download MongoDB. So first of all, uh, just open your favorite browser and search for MongoDB. And hopefully the first link which will appear here will be from uh, mongodb.com, which is this one. So I'm going to just click on that link. And here, uh, this website, MongoDB website keeps on changing. So you just need to search for the downloads button. So at the time of making this video, this button is at the top right end of this website, which is this one. So I'm going to click on this download button. And then we need to choose which uh, version of MongoDB we want to download. So we want uh, the community server uh, for MongoDB. So just uh, choose this option which says community server and then choose the OSX version, right? Now here you have the option to download the TGZ file, which is the format of, uh, you know, compression, which is similar to the zip file if you are familiar with uh, the zip files, right? So just click on this downloads button, which is going to download the TGZ file. You can see this uh, download for the TGZ file is started. So it's around 87 megabyte file. So it will take some time to download. So I'm going to just pause this video until this uh, file is downloaded. And once it's downloaded, we are going to see how to extract it and how to install MongoDB. So now this MongoDB TGZ file is downloaded on my Mac operating system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize the browser and now I'm going to open the terminal, right? So just open your terminal and once the terminal is open, we are going to just CD to the downloads folder where we have uh, uh, saved our DGZ file. So let me do ls to list all the content and you can see this file we have downloaded, right? So first of all, we are going to extract this file because it's a zip file. So to extract it, you just need to give this command tar and then xzf and then the name of your tar file, which is mongodb osx ssl whatever version dot tgz, right? And then press enter, which is going to extract this tar file. And once this tar file is extracted, we are going to just copy the content of this mongodb folder to our user local folder. So now the command is successful and we are going to do ls once again and you can see it has extracted this folder which is mongodb osx whatever version is right. So this folder we just need to move this folder to the user local folder. So the next is to move this folder so we will use the mv command. All the command I'm going to give uh, you in the description of this video so you can directly copy those command and then paste it into your terminal also. So mv and uh, let's use sudo for it because we are going to copy it into the user local folder, right? So mv and then the name of your uh, mongodb uh, folder and then the destination folder. So the destination folder will be user local and then we will name our mongodb folder as mongodb so just write mongodb okay so this is the command to move this folder to the user local bin let me just maximize this terminal so we can see this command in a better way so this is the command to move just press enter and then give your max password i'm going to give my max password and now this command is successful let's list all the contents of this downloads folder once again so you can see only tgz file is remaining here we have already moved this folder to the user local mongodb folder so let's cd to the user local mongodb folder and let's see if we have this folder there or not so user local and then mongodb and then ls and you can see all the contents of this mongodb folder is transferred to user local forward slash mongodb okay so once this is done the next step is to create the forward slash data forward slash db folder 
So by default, MongoDB writes or stores data into a folder called forward slash data forward slash db. And we need to create this folder, right? So we will just use the mkdir command to make this directory. So we just use the sudo first of all, and then mkdir, and then the flag minus p. And this flag will allow us to create uh, the directory structure, which is uh, forward slash data forward slash db. Okay. So sudo mkdir minus p forward slash data forward slash uh, db plus press enter. And then you can just uh, see if this uh, uh, directory is created or not. So I'm going to just uh, do cd forward slash uh, data and uh, forward slash db and press enter. And we are inside this uh, forward slash data forward slash db folder. I have uh, given uh, double forward slash here by mistake, but you can uh, just uh, just give this forward slash data forward slash db, which will work fine also. Okay, so I'm going to just do pwd, which is present working directory, and you can see we are inside this forward slash data forward slash db, right? So now the next step is to manually change the permission of this folder. So to change the permission of this folder, what we need to do is we just need to give this command sudo and then we are going to give a ch own command and then whatever uh, is your username. So to know your uh, username, you just need to write uh, who am I and this is your uh, username in your case, right? So to change the permission of uh, forward slash data forward slash db, we are going to just write uh, sudo and then uh, ch own and then your username. In my case, it's code bind, but in your case, it will be different. And then forward slash uh, data forward slash db. Okay, and then press enter, which is going to change the permission of uh, this uh, folder, which is forward slash data forward slash db. So once this is done, we are going to add all the paths for the MongoDB to our bash profile. So I'm going to just clear the terminal for now and let me just do cd so that I'm going to uh, be in my home directory, right? So just do cd, blank cd, which is going to just redirect you to your home directory, right? So once you are in your home directory, you can just do pwd and you will be in your users forward slash whatever you, is your username, right? So you need to be in this directory. And then you just need to open the bash profile file here. So you can just do ls minus l for example, to list out all the files. And let me do ls minus al so it will just list out all the hidden files also so now i have done ls minus al and uh, you will be able to see this bash profile dot bash profile file here okay so the command was ls minus al and if this dot bash profile file is not present you can create this file using uh, touch command so you can just give touch and then dot bash profile okay and then it's going to create this bash profile file if it's not present and if it's present then you just need to open it okay so you just need to open this dot bash profile so we are going to open this uh, dot bash profile by giving this command give open and then dot bash profile and then press enter which is going to open this bash profile file into your editor okay so you can see i have already uh, created this dot bash profile and uh, i have already exported some paths uh, earlier for example for java home or for uh, node.js i'm i was uh, working with node.js so, so i had set those paths into my dot bash profile file 
I want to add this new path for MongoDB into this dot bash profile, right? So the export which we want to do here is I have uh, just uh, copied down into a text editor, which is these two lines of uh, path we need to export. Okay, so I'm going to also give these exports into the description of this video, so you can directly copy those path and uh, just uh, paste it into your uh, bash profile file okay so i'm going to just copy these uh, path which is export mongo underscore path is equal to forward slash user forward slash local forward slash mongo db and then export path is equal to path colon dollar mongo path forward slash bin okay so just uh, i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste this at the end of my bash profile file and then I'm going to save it. So I'm going to just uh, save this file. You can just go here and then uh, save it. Or you can just give commands S to save it. Okay. So once it's saved, I'm going to close this file. I'm going to minimize this. And once I have added these uh, exports, I just need to restart my terminal. Or I can just give uh, this command source and then dot bash profile which is going to reload this bash profile for me okay so i have given uh, this command and once this is done i'm going to just close this terminal and let's uh, just uh, test whether mongodb is uh, really installed or not so i'm going to just open two terminals now so the first terminal and the second terminal so i have opened two terminal one terminal we need to run the mongo daemon and the other terminal we need to interact with the mongo db okay so on one terminal you just need to write mongo d and then press enter and if you see this kind of output then you know that uh, mongo daemon is perfectly running fine and then you can connect to your MongoDB. So to connect to your MongoDB, you just need to give Mongo command here. So just give Mongo and then press enter and you are connected to your MongoDB, okay? So on one terminal, I have given MongoD command, which is uh, for the Mongo daemon to start. And on the other terminal here, I have given Mongo command which is going to start the interactive Mongo client, right? So this is on the left hand side is the Mongo client. And here we can just write show, for example, show DBs. So just write show DBs, which is going to show all the databases which are already present by default into your Mongo database and then press enter. And I can see there are two databases, which is admin and local, which are already there by default on my MongoDB server, right? In order to create MongoDB, we can uh, create it, but we are going to see it later. In this video, I just wanted to show you how you can download and install MongoDB on your Mac operating system. If you want to check the version of uh, MongoDB, you can just open the next terminal, for, exa for example, and you can uh, just write, for example, Mongo minus version and then press enter which is going to give you the version of uh, mongodb installed so in my case it's version 3.6.1 right so in this way you can download and install mongodb on your mac operating system i hope you enjoyed this video please rate comment subscribe and bye for now